You can customize ZipThaw for your needs with the settings menu. We discussed adding new users in a previous chapter. You can also change the language to English, French, or German with the flags. Change the date format to American or International. Enter the date or time. Note the 24-hour format. Enter the site name. We'll type in FMS for demonstration purposes. Set temperature units to Celsius or Fahrenheit. Turn the audio on or off. You can also revert to device default settings. Now that you've entered in users and set your preferences, review the unit to make sure it's ready for you to use. The main screen shows the site name, the export data tool, the settings menu, the date and time, number of zip sleeve uses, the action buttons, and instructions with a cancel feature. We'll hit settings to take a look at the preferences and users look right. Looks good, you can make changes anytime. Before you use ZipThaw, confirm that it's ready to thaw plasma. Check that the device is powered on, that the pre-warm cycle is complete, and that the main screen shows the chambers are ready to be loaded. Looks good, now you're ready to zip thaw. 